All right, we're doing the gear shaft replacement on this little story. Uh, as you guys heard me complain before about not having a garage, but anyways, yesterday I was taking the bike out to head out on an errand, going through the front yard, just hit a, grass was kind of dewy, hit a real wet slick spot and I was down before I knew it. So. Wasn't even doing five mile an hour, probably doing two or three miles an hour. I don't know if you can tell, but that shaft is bent. So, at the very least, I'm going to have to get to it, which means start off by draining the oil, getting all of this stuff here off, getting the clutch cover off. Hopefully I can get to that rod without having to take my clutch plates out. I don't know, we'll find out. I'm gonna have to come across here. Take my sprocket cover off. And then I'm gonna have to take the front spot sprocket off, the nut itself, to get to the gearbox. And then in the gearbox, I'm gonna see if there's any damage here. But basically that rod is from the other side gonna come out this way. And we'll see where we're at. Man, I tell you when that went down, fortunately, because this tank, as you can see, is the creamsicle tank off my 06 that I didn't put on the road here because of what they charge. But every ride-in season, I switch tanks just to run, you know, about three or four sets of, uh, of fuel through this one tank. So uh, basically, I don't have jelly by the time I go back to the States next year. And of course, Murphy's Law, I was on that friggin' tank when I went down. The <laughs> first thing I thought was, like, man, not, not the tank. Please, I'll fix anything, but not the tank. Not, not the tangerine. So, anyways, it's been a while since I put up a video. I definitely got stuff to do now. Uh, no example, do your own work because this is a very expensive job for a shop to do. You're talking taking a clutch all apart, taking a gearbox all apart. Taking, I mean, it's a lot of work just to get that rod. So, I think the rod itself, though, is like a hundred bucks. So this, this is going to be about $150, $200 fix, depending on everything I find. So a little bit of a freaking ouch for a three mile an hour crash. I have my brand new M bars that I actually really love these. These are the Norman Hyde M bars. Really comfortable. Really, especially if somebody's got a big frame like me. But this bend right here. That's actually that's a real weak point if the bike ever goes down. Because now this bar's whacked. I'm gonna have to change the bar too. I got I got a clubman bar I'll probably just throw on it. So anyways, off we go. So I'll be fixing that. And also while we're at it, because the weather's getting colder and we'll be getting sloppy here soon. I'll be putting these black covers on the bike, so it's going to be a cover change as well. I pick these up between Ebay's and internet hunting and stuff. I pick these up on the cheap, so I can, I'll just throw these on and put that up on the video. So, there you have it. My friggin' accident, whatever you want to call it, I was going to turn into something for you guys to check out. So with that, I'll be coming back at you.